guys, welcome to Legaris channel. I am your official host for the day, finally, ladies and gentlemen. And here is the owner of the channel, but she will be the co-host for today. And Dagere, thank you for coming. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> like I'm used to always introducing. Yeah. Hi guys, now yeah. it's Esther doing it. Okay. <laughs> I've invented her space, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to Nigeria's channel, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Yes. Yeah. Today, what we're talking about, let's just go straight into it, guys. <sighs> Watch this video and then we're going to talk. Now, I've, I've been watching a lot of videos where American women are talking about uh, the black man and all that. And I'm like, they can't be that bad, can they? Well, my dear, American women your points are valid and it makes sense now let me tell you why i had an encounter with a black american man now before we go any further let's agree that not every black american man is like that but from the complaints i've seen from the videos i've seen from what the women are saying american women are saying some of these things are valid i had an opportunity to talk to a black american guy and I understand ladies I understand you know something is wrong with the men in America I'm sorry <laughs> something is totally off they need to collect and round them up like cattle and put them into therapy some of them belong in asylums and this was a typical passport, bro. You could tell. I want an African woman. I want my child to look like you. Very narcissistic. Very, you know. But then, and for the uh, American men, black American men, coming to Africa to look for women, understand that African women are educated, if not more educated than some of the American women so when you are coming with your broken mentality your broken approach towards women understand that african women are not built for that and i don't know who told you that going out of your country is going to find you women who are going to accept your bullshit accept your narcissism accept your closed minds <laughs> stagnant way of looking Stop at it. life your abusive Six. characters hmm? Zero uh -huh. accountability, zero personalities, zero boundaries. Homeboy had no personality. Conversations. Like, I understand. Until you have interacted okay. with a group of people, you would never understand, would you? But I finally understood because I had an interaction with a black African American oh. man. Black American. Mm -mm. No, <gasps> don't be. Ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen a woman be so specific about what she wanted to say than this one. Yeah, she was very open into it. And I don't know, I am kind, like I'm in shock. <laughs> Why? As well as, it's funny. Why? It's mixed emotions. Okay, because yeah. like we come here and talk about like, you know, people yeah. or like God, men and women. Yeah. If you're not, you know, seeing the one mm. that you want, the one who you can connect with. And then here we are. Our sister is like She was hurt. Don't you dare come back to the continent. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm I'm gone. Who oh. <laughs> what do you think about it? First of all, to the man that hurt her. Yeah. I want to say shame upon you because she, she, she sounded broken. Yes, you know, like it gave me that vibe of like, so have we been calling these people to come thinking what? Yeah, it makes you question yourself. Yeah. Okay, not like on this specific woman, mm. but for her to give her experience in mm. a way that she was hurt, mm. she was broken, she was mm. disappointed. Mm. And you know, like, if you meet someone for the very first time, yeah. that person is representing like a whole, a whole group, group of yeah. people. Yeah. So I think to her right now, she sees all black American men like, as that person. Guys, let me tell you, like there is this guy. Mm -hmm. Remember we met him in Dubai. Yeah, he was black American. A max with the facts. So guys, the story behind that, this guy was very friendly at <laughs> first. 
we enjoyed like mm. it wasn't even a dating thing it was yeah. like we met at fashion week yes. in dubai and he liked our energy yeah. guys us in fashion you can't say nothing about it like we are everywhere yeah. in the fashion stuff. actually we are still yeah. even on his youtube channel yeah yeah and so we connected in mm-hmm. that way of fashion and i was so excited to meet like a black american, american yeah person he also was like yeah. oh i met my sister he was very friendly and then things turned sideways you know when the friendship yeah. vibe went out and he wanted to hit on you yeah. actually when he wanted to yeah come my way of <laughs> yeah things changed yeah because i remember we went out guys uh we were supposed to meet and whatever he did that day i i think because i talk about african things mm. us coming together and connecting i try as much as possible not to connect his experience i had with him to other to people to other people yes because it was really horrible so when i see this lady say those things and what i experienced also he, he could not even order for something i was like are you going to have something because we ordered already stuff mm. as like no more conversations yes and he ordered stuff i didn't even give attention of what he was ordering guys i'm giving you a story of mm. my experience with the first black american person i met black mm. man mm. and then the bill comes out we had pizza we had juice me and my friend mm. he, he 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 became silent all of a sudden you know when he was really having a good conversation telling me how he's <laughs> He's traveled to Egypt. He has gone to Kenya. He went to South Africa. He's been to, uh, I think he said Indonesia or something like that. Yeah. Like he he showed that he had traveled yeah. a lot, and that showed me that he has seen different things. He said yeah. he's Christian, mm. and I was like, okay, I'm not into Christianity, but I do. You know, I understand how friends he, who are Christians. He looks like a noble yeah. man. Yeah, but when it came to paying stuff, actually, he couldn't even pay for his own things. I paid. Guys, I swear I paid. And I was like I'm done with this date, like I can't even keep up. I want to go home. Mm. I was really like done with him after that. He was I think maybe ashamed that he couldn't pay for those things. The attitude went out of the roof. He became rude. He became aggressive. Mm. He, his tone changed mm. and i was trying to keep it calm and keep it okay you know i didn't want my friend to feel yeah, you know threatened in a vibe, way yeah. yeah and then he was like well uh guys if you don't want to go out you want to go home because i said i want to go home yeah um i have a car and i can take you home and maybe go back and enjoy myself if it's okay and i was like well, at least he's a Wait, gentleman if you don't want to go out what was he gonna even pay for to take you guys out <laughs> I'm trying it's to, a pity because trying, this is a handsome guy we're talking about. He's cute, actually. He was a cute guy. Like, that is the truth. He mm. was a cute guy. Like, I want to read... Okay, let me finish the story. We get in his car because he insisted. Yeah. And I didn't want to still, you know, be rude yeah. in a way. And I was like, oh, at least he's a gentleman. He's willing yeah. to take us home, you know. We get in his car. And there's something we were joking about... He said something. I was like, "Oh, come on!" Like mm. you know, when you're all laughing. Yeah. He was like, "Get out of my fucking car! Get out of my car, you African bee!" <laughs> <laughs> like I'll knock you down. <laughs> Guys, I'm serious. It's not even a story I'm making up. It's really true. If you want, you can go and check out. Should I even say his name? <laughs> We already said his name. Yeah, A Max with the facts. A <laughs> Max. Guys, he chased us out of his car and he almost hit my friend because my friend was in, was in the back of the car. Mm. I was in front and she was getting out. He was actually setting off. He almost hit her leg. That's how ridiculous that date went. And he was black American. My first experience yeah. with one. Yeah. When I see this woman, yes, saying these things, why I said it was funny in the beginning, why it was weird, mm. why it was like how I acted in the in the yeah. start of the video, it wasn't because of this woman. No, it was because you've experienced it was the because same thing. I experienced the same thing, and that's why I I was like in that 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 feeling of. I don't want to throw yeah, shade. I, I don't want to throw shade. But still I 
I don't come here on this platform and generalize mm. everybody, mm. even after that experience. Mm. And because I would talk to some black American people online, mm. like the ones who would, you know, follow me on social media, mm. I would, I actually had a different kind of a mindset and vibe with Mm. them even though we've never met with them in person Mm. but of course if you meet this one and they are like this and they started Mm. out well the way we started at fashion week yeah it makes you question like is that how they all are yeah in a way and so that's where the weird take comes in but still i don't like the way she insulted Mm, I see the Black American community yeah. as a whole. Yeah, yeah. It was like they need to be in an asylum. Mm. They need to be taken for therapy. Like it's the first thing that like she was full of like anger. All of them. Yeah, she put them in a whole box, guys. I had this experience with this person. I'll never forget it. But I never use it as something to, to put the whole group of men down. Yeah, yeah. Because now we've met O'Shea. He's a Black American guy. Yeah, and, and he's, he's like, amazing. Shout out to O'Shea. O'Shea. <laughs> Oh. Shout out to Shady Jackson one <laughs> time. We love you. King and the nation. We go. Yes. So you see, like, it's different kinds of dynamics. Oh, yeah. And it's different kinds of people. Mm. My experience with you might be okay. Mm. Another one might be bad. Mm. I had a bad experience for the first black American man I met. She probably also had the same. Yeah. But also she was using the narrative of how black American women also talk about them. Mm. And so maybe the... <sighs> anger grew that she saw what her experience is what would saw these women go oh, through so you guys should not be coming into our continent you think we are stupid you think we are dumb and maybe the thing she said is what this guy said to her and she's educated so maybe this guy thought or said things like i yeah. think that is what actually a max also expected from you because you're an african girl he expected us yeah. yeah i know that i know the guy i said i don't want to throw shade but first things first to this particular person, yeah. if you are going to act weird, at least drive a nice car. Because in Dubai, <laughs> you can't be out just saying, if you don't want to go to the party, then let me take you home. When you have an ugly car, just, just say it. And it's so funny because even on that date, after I finished paying for stuff, he was now inviting me for, your, for, for his birthday or something in the palm. He was like, oh, I have a birthday in the palm. And in my head... I was saying, if you cannot even pay for your sparkling water, no. which is 20 dirhams, right. how how sure am I that when I come to your birthday in the pub, which is the richest place for excitement, exactly, this is that what you're I going was gonna to be say. able to afford things for me? If at Dubai Mall you cannot yeah. afford sparkling water in the pub, yeah. oh, or maybe he borrowed the place to even hold the birthday party for him. So because the pub is expensive. I don't know, but it's not even about him. But the anyway. thing is... It's not to generalize mm. the whole group of people. Like mm. she said, she was really full of anger mm. and insults. And also, how to say that African women are more educated than uh, African American women. American women. I it's don't a lie. Think so. I, I, it's not even that I don't think so. That's yeah. a complete lie. It's a lie, a full lie. You can compare, Afri- I am African, but you cannot compare my education to the education of African American women. Those mm. women are very smart women. I think they are really they educated. Have more education than, yes, they, they even have more education than the men themselves. I don't know, but like to me, I, I cannot compete in terms of education with them mm. and not to shed African women mm. that we are dumb or something. No. But it's, there's some things you cannot com- yeah. compare. Mm. You know, there's things that you need to sometimes put aside however mad you are mm. and because she had that experience she called everybody bad yeah. and you never know maybe that guy was not even african-american because to us if you grew up in america you're still from america you're, you're a black american if you don't say you're ugandan in I some just, sense ow. do they even know who is an african-american now man that and who is not that. now you've said that yeah i'm thinking we might be take mistaking Africans because now Africans, yeah. sorry guys, some Africans yeah. that are either born in America. Yeah. Like I go to America, mm. me and my man or I meet him there or whatever. You have a child. And I have a child there. They grew up from there. Now they want to say they are, they are 
African American. Okay, well, yes, you're African American, but not like O'Shea Duke Jackson, African American. Yeah. Like, for example, like this, this gentleman, he's Ugandan, mm -hmm. but he was born and grew up in America. Yeah. So, some of those people, you know, Afri sometimes mm -hmm. African people, when they go overseas, they don't want to show their African when they yes. come. Yes. So yeah. now they do things in the name, in the shadow of... I'm American. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that can also be something. Do mm. African women differentiate between real African-American, American um, people, eh, or men, women, African from that were born, Africans that yeah, were born in America. in America? That is also something. That is also something. Because mm. like, those are the dynamics we face. And... So I, I had in her take that she said African women are educated, we are not stupid, we are not maybe that I support her that yeah. the way this guy, Amax, mm. viewed me and the way I was talking to him. Yeah. He did I not didn't expect it. I, I didn't sound dumb in a way that yes. he wanted me to. Yes. Because I would ask questions. And I think in that conversation, I feel like when I, I, when I recall, mm. he stopped talking to me because I was asking questions. I was mm. really looking in his eyes. I was really engaging. Mm. And he stopped being engaging with me and wanted to talk to my friend who was actually more quiet yeah. and was shy to talk. Mm. If it makes sense. For some of you yeah. that think that is the vibe that you're going to get from all African women... You think they're not intellectually smart. Mm -hmm. You think they're going to be humble, not respond back to you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 2023. Yeah, baba. <laughs> it was also funny, okay, now to the side of the lady mm. saying she doesn't want to generalize, but she's generalizing everybody. Mm. And I do not want to dismiss her experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then... Some things you don't have to say on the internet. Because if you are an African woman mm. and you say something like that and generalize it on a whole group of people, like I also talk about how we African women, like me, myself, mm. I do not want to be in two polygamous relationships. I don't want to be cheated on. I don't want to be disrespected. You don't want to be a I strong black woman. I don't want to be woman. a strong black I'm not a strong black woman, guys. I am not. I don't want to be all those things that mm. I've seen happen and they never gave rewards to mm. the African women. Mm. But still, it shouldn't be that the first person you had an encounter with should give you the only image mm. of the whole group as yeah. the way she was putting it. That's true. That's where it's funny for me to see that it's not okay to her mm. to do that. She wants them to get out, but we keep on saying, come, come, come. Yeah. So I'm thinking, mm -hmm. don't you think we are actually promoting as well sex tourism? No, because... Really? Yeah. Because if we keep on... Asking them to come, to come, to come. Yeah. And mind you, I think this also leads to a certain people from the diaspora to have this mindset. Or let's say, I would say a fetish. Like, for example, mm. do you hear stories of, oh, I want to marry a Ugandan girl. I want to get a Ugandan girl because Ugandan girls are like this in bed. Oh, like the way she said, this guy was telling me I want to marry you and have kids that look like you. Uh, Don't you see when they say I want an Asian girl because they tight down there? Really? So maybe this guy also came having that in mind. And this lady disappointed him. Because you also need to get into her perspective as a yeah. woman. And how I experienced my experience. How I was treated on that day. Yeah. Oh. That's something to think about. I never actually thought of that. <laughs> right? I've never thought of that, guys. Ew. Ew. That's horrible if I'm promoting... Guys, do you think I'm promoting sex tourism? Because <laughs> I don't want to do that. Mm. That's a deep one. You asked me a deep one. Wow. But also, do you think, like she said, that these men are too sensitive, they need to be in asylums, mm -hmm. and they need to go for mental checkups? Do you think that was right to say? Because I've met Amax with the fact he needs to go where she said. 
I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, when I hear stories, because Ooh. like, guys, I work in a salon and I hear women that, okay, they're having a nice life. They have cars, you know. These men give them nice things, the black American men they with. But, yo, they always say, yo, but you can never reason with these people. Really? Yeah. Like, they say it goes, that's it. Like, I've heard stories like, you cannot disagree to agree. Like, they have to win the fight. It has to always be, mm. they're always right. Mm. I've heard about the arrogancy. Mm. I've heard about yeah, the I've heard all those things. The entitlement. Yeah. But again, not everyone is like this. But then also not every not every man that actually comes in the continent also comes mm. for the African women. Because she also said they come mm. for the fetish of us or whatever mm. in some way. But I don't think it's true. Like some just come to connect with the continent. But you know what? Yeah. Like everyone has different kinds of reasoning. Mm. For them to come in the continent, not like they come specifically for the African women. It mm. might, but maybe some, I don't want to generalize yeah. also, come for the connection of the motherland and the people and the cultures. Yeah, We shouldn't excuse that too and put them all in, a, in one box of they are just there for uh-huh. women. But you know why? Okay. I am not saying, I don't know deeply enough what sex tourism means. Yeah. But according to the sense of what I'm thinking in my head, because like we keep on saying, come to the motherland, get your boo thing. If no one works for you there, I would say sex tourism is okay for me. You know why? <laughs> you know why, guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's more shocking. It's coming from Esther. Esther Natukonda. I know. My Christian girl <laughs> is promoting and accepting <laughs> sex tourism you know why we changed the topic actually but like let's finish with this my reasons are if that if you the man who's coming from the diaspora you're gonna come and you find me and you give me all i want and i accept you and you give me a good life it's i'm okay with it so come for sex tourism what you want (laughs) we are done we are Done. I met with O'Shea, mm. Duke Jackson of Kenyan cool. Nation, and I love his energy. I love how supportive he is. He's very yes. encouraging. He's very humble. He's down to earth. Mm. I've not had an argument with him to see maybe his character to mm. the maximum, but at least I see he's generous. Mm. He has done and given things to me and Esther that mm. I appreciate. So subscribe to his channel. They are not all the same. We yeah. are not all the same. If a black American man came and said the same things about African women, they are this, they are that, they are mm. that, he will be called out on the internet. Yeah, sure. And also, I don't see a lot of African women get on the internet and talk about how white people mistreat them, how mm. white people do shit to them, how white people do this. Mm. But it also happens. happens. But they don't come yeah. on the internet and you know speak mm. about that of course in this incident this lady talks about all those things she talked about you know white people mm. and their mistreatment she mm. does talk about those things in this situation it was about black men but like it's rare for me to see african women come out and talk about the things that white men do, do to, to them. them yeah so when when we are able to come and talk about black men in a bad light, but we cannot do the same thing when it comes to white people, mm. then I think it's a problem. And yeah. I don't really support that. That's why it's really not okay mm. to generalize. Yeah. Yeah, the guys, that's all I can say in this video. Esther, your last words. <laughs> My last words are still, I'm glad the African-American guy that I have had a chance to meet like once or twice mm-hmm. is a shade duke jackson and he's been very nice and generous and he has done things to actually yeah. do an improvement in how we see social media in uganda yeah so i think when i look at him it gives me a sense of when i meet an african american man who does the other i'll get to understand they're yeah, actually different yeah. so people have different traits and different behaviors but hey, tell us what you think in the comment section. Bye. Ah, ye, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to King Under Nation and the and the Duke Jackson. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.